when I was looking at this episode, I was thinking to myself, okay, we are five episodes in. This fifth episode, they, they've really got to turn up the notch. And there's only seven, seven total episodes. You know, I think about, I'm a big basketball fan, so I'm thinking of this like a seven-game series. Now, these all these episodes weren't phenomenal. We kind of went into game five thinking, okay, we're 2-2, but we have to win game five at home because as every, you know, the basketball analytics, they, they know out there, 89% of people who win game five win the series. And so I'm thinking, look, we're 2-2, but we, we won a strong last game. I think we've got this. I think this is going to be really good. Everyone's hyping this to be amazing. And you know what? I was really enjoying the ride up to that point. But when your best episode of the entire series doesn't feature your main character whose name is on the show, let me tell you what, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. They had The Mandalorian Season 3 Chapter 1 premiere in Season 1 Chapter 5 of The Book of Boba Fett, and he wasn't even in it. It was absolutely ridiculous because it doesn't belong in this series. It hurt the overall art for Boba Fett. It doesn't make a whole lot, again, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me why he had an entire episode. It was, it didn't contribute to the Book of Boba Fett story at all to what we learned at this point. Say, hey, here's this whole backstory with the Tuscans. That's pretty cool. You like that, right? They're dead now, though, so don't get too attached because we got to move on and do some other things. Hey, here's the Pikes. we are got to build up. There are some pretty bad guys, so, you, you know, we need you to get on board with that, and we're going to round, you know, round some people up. So just get ready for this next episode because, you know, we've got some big baddies coming. And hold on. You thought we were done with Baby Yoda? No, we're going to make him into a little napkin. Don't forget about him. Yeah, so gonna... cute, though, Brody. It was oh so cute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was. The best episode of your show didn't feature your main character, and it hurts this story so much. Maybe they can bounce back back from it. They have two more episodes to go. But where does it leave us? With a weird show. You have some that are really slow, and you're learning about, again, the Tuscans. Then you're, okay, I guess he's going to be a mob boss now. Why? Oh, probably because of all the things we learned in, you know, the desert, right? He wants to be a good leader. He wants to be a good person. He wants to help all the people. Nope. He just thinks bounty hunters were misrepresented, and he could do better than his boss, just like most employees in the history of ever. So his motivations are weird. Uh, there's just a whole lot about this show that's weird. And the moment things start revving up, the most important pivotal episode to really send this into the next phase of this show, it doesn't even feature the main character. So I loved it in a different series. So yeah, overall, I gave this whole thing a 16.3 out of 25. And I'm not even going to go into all the nitty gritty because it doesn't even warrant it. I'll get, I'll, next season of Mandalorian, I'll give you the nitty gritty for this episode where it belongs. Hey, I will say, I will say this. I will say this. I've been thinking about this, the, the show as a whole. And I, I thought, well, what do we know about so far with this series? So far it's set up, it's really done a lot of development with Tatooine. It's almost like it's done more development with Tatooine than it has with Boba himself. And then you think about it and you think, well, what have they developed with Bobo? It's like, well, he's really just a kind of like, you know, old, like gentle animal lover. Like he should be working for PETA or running his own, like, you know, petting zoo or something. Yeah. Right. I mean, and it, and it just really made me think like, maybe they should just like completely change his art just to say, you know what? I'm out of the business guys. I got my own, uh, you know, nerf herder kind of farm farming deal going on over here. And I'm hanging out with, with all these different animals and then trouble comes and finds him or something. I don't know, but it feels like we watched the last Jedi. It's that feeling all over again where your Boba theory sucks. And I'm like, <laughs> I love the last Jedi. So that's not, that's not proving your point right now. Listen, all I'm saying is we come into this episode with certain expectations that things are going to get awesome. They did a lot of character building. It's just, it took Mando to do it. <laughs> it did. It did. I mean, my wife's dad was watching it with us and he's like, the first thing he saw was Mandalorian walk through the door and he's like, well, this episode's already better than the rest. And then he sees him pull out the dark saber on those guys and he's like, yeah, you know, Boba Fett would have just got thrown around in that room. And I'm like, that's the funniest part. This person who doesn't even watch Star Wars is watching this series is just like, well, that guy is a wuss. And then he sees Mando automatically knows he's better. And all you've done, again, I'm speaking from someone who doesn't follow anything else but just the Mandalorian and Boba Fett. And in their mind, they're like, 
Well, Boba Fett's a wuss who always needs to take a bath after every fight. Uh, a little back-to-tank action. And you've got Mandalorian. Thankfully, Boba Fett's going to recruit him because otherwise, pfft, you know, Boba Fett would just be... He'd be eaten up by something else. That's the whole reason why they brought Mando in for the entire episode because, let's be honest, the rankings were down and they needed help. And so, like, you know what? Let's just make a... Let's just... Let's just oh, fat finger... Nothing. Oh, Let's so just fat right finger right an episode. Yeah, I mean, like, hey, how many view? How many view? How many? How many more times has this episode been viewed than the previous? I bet you it's more. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's the second highest rated episode on IMDb of anything post Mandalorian. There you go. No, I, I I agree. It's great content on a different show. You took away from a necessary story that Boba Fett needed, and yeah, I. They've only got two episodes left. They got to wrap it up and. There's a lot of theories out there that are saying this next episode is going to be about Mando finding Grogu, not about Boba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, a, that's a silly plot line. But I did hear that our Lord and Savior Dave Filoni is supposed to be the director of the next episode, which Maybe does kind of lean into the premise that it might involve Grogu because that's his little baby. It, and you know what? It, that Grogu's like America's baby. It, it is. If there's one thing that can bring America together, I think it might be Baby Yoda. Yeah.